Lee McMillan. Um, the end of a, another day of practicing, training for the British team, end of another week. Um, four days um, the boat's been out, three days sailing. How would you sum up the week this so far? Yeah, it's been um, a good week for T6 back on the water after some changes and, um, you know, three good sailing days for sure today were the best conditions we've had this week. Um, fantastic kind of 15 to 18 knots all, all afternoon and um, gave us a chance to, to get the boat, you know, up to speed and, and getting some good segments in, um, you know, much better than the other two, day, two days where we were searching for the breeze a bit. So, um, yeah, it was great to get out there and the boat was, you know, really locked in and, and uh, the guys were doing a good job sailing it. Sounds like this new curved starboard foil has gone down quite well with the crew. It seems to have got locked in, as you say, quicker than the W foil. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, it's looking nice and, and obviously they've all got different features and, you know, we're looking, we're learning different things from, from, from each foil, but um, it's, uh, yeah, it's um, been good to get her up and going, to, particularly today in those conditions and, and getting some numbers out of it and, um, and then kind of seeing how, how she performs at the higher speeds as well. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been really good to get a nice look at it today. The interesting thing for me about that foil is the top surface, there's no evidence of a hinge. What's the thinking behind that? Um, well, I think you've seen, you know, over the course of the, you know, the last couple of campaigns, some teams opting to have um, no upper um, or central hinges and some with upper flexures and, and, um, and yeah, so this one's obviously uh, not got, not got the, uh, the crease on the top. Um, and it's you know it's got some advantages and some disadvantages so we're having a good look at it um yeah but it seems to be all behaving nicely in theory just in general terms what would be an advantage of that just just better flow over the foil yeah exactly yeah it's just a cleaner top surface so um time in palma is it's it's been we've been here for a few months now barcelona's kind of looming on the horizon What's the feeling in the camp? Are you ahead of schedule, behind schedule? What have you got to get done before you uh, before you move? Um, yeah, we've got a good five weeks left sailing here, I think, um, which is you know a good chunk of time still, and uh, before we head off to Barcelona, and and really it's um, you know it's obviously all kind of planned in in terms of our scheduling and, and testing and stuff. So it'll be the end of a big block of testing here in Palma, and, and from that we'll be able to to kind of sign off some key decisions on, on RB3, um, our race boat. And um, and yeah, so, and then obviously looking ahead to Barcelona and uh, and then just not, it won't be long until we're into the AC40 racing. So obviously getting geared up for that um, for September. So um, I guess the, uh, the focus will change very slightly when we relaunch in Barcelona. Fantastic insight. Thanks, Lee. No race. Thanks a lot, guys.